Hey, um, I just wanted to say that the video that you are about to watch um, was recorded outside, so there is a lot of wind and some dogs barking for some reason. Um, I tried with Sebastian to reduce as much um, background noise as we could, and this is what we got. I think it's a lot better than the original. But because um, I speak in a low voice, um, if you removed completely the background noise, my voice would also be removed. <laughs> so um, it's probably going to be difficult to hear some parts. I tried to put um, to edit those parts. They they just happen in the beginning, I think, until like minute five or something. But yeah. Um, we have to rethink the place on which we make videos for the next time. Um, also, I haven't been uploading for like two weeks because I haven't been feeling like uploading. Maybe that will change in the next week, maybe. I don't know. So, either way, that's the... I just wanted to explain why you're going to listen to a few mumblings sometimes rather than actual audio. So, thanks. Um, we are here today, um, an INTP and an ENF chat, to talk about <coughs> the, our life goals, I guess, like the meaning of the fight and our life goals. Um, so, what um, objectives or goals do you have for the rest of your life? Um, the, the, the goals I have for life, um, I believe they might change in future. Um, although I'd like to say first that uh, nowadays, um, every uh, the current time we are spending is literally changing over over the night, o over the day, from day to night, um, and so with this. I'd like to say that perhaps today what I think I'm going to do in 10 years yeah, might, change. Might, might change. And, uh, and uh, what about you? No, I think the same thing. Um, we can't be sure about what we're going to be doing tomorrow. So, yeah, but I do have some um, objectives that I would like to fulfill in the next 10 years. That is my case, for example, to have maybe a, a PhD in psychology and I would also like to study history and theology so maybe I'll be in university or I'm taking another course as I am um, in, uh, teaching or applications in psychology so while I'm working in psychology I would also like to study so, what lectures would you like to, to give classes? Yeah, I would like to give classes, I guess. Um, I think so, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, yeah I, would, I would like to, since I'm not, my aim is not clinical psychology, it's more neuroscience, um, I guess I would probably, if I get the PhD, Yeah, I see because you look like you're very into it. Um, yeah. You're a very talkative person, and besides, you are you have very criticism uh, points. You you yeah. are very critic. Yeah, I yeah I I don't like to believe in things in face value. I like to analyze them first. I guess that's very identification in a way. So yeah, I guess it makes sense for me to to go into a more analytical area. Yeah. Mm. I'd like to to make a question. Um, uh, 
you said before you'd, you'd like to have a PhD, haven't you? Um, I'd like to, to ask you if, um, if, if for you is, it is also important to have like consistent, to, to be consistent. Uh, because I, I'm asking this because uh, often uh, people say they wish to, to obtain and to, uh, to reach uh, certain things that perhaps they are too big. For, for them yes. and in these specific cases people sometimes are not consistent enough to yes. to reach them so what I'm pretend to, to ask you is that are you willing to to do it uh, yes. to do it yeah if you if you really wish it you're consistent if you're going to really work hard because that is a very big achievement to have a PhD PhD and that yeah. is impressive for somebody. Yeah, um, I would like to have more than one PhD. I would like to have like another one in either history, theology, or philosophy. Um, I have a few. I have like five disciplines that I would really like to study um, in a more deep way. I guess. Was for psychology. It was actually physics, but psychology is okay. But then would be probably history or theology, then philosophy, and then physics. And I would like, to, I like I said, like I don't think I will be leaving university so soon because I have um, a few things I would like to study. I would like to have a collection of disciplines that would allow me to have a very general view of the world from the past with history, and that would help me think, like with philosophy, that would help me understand people, like with psychology, that would help me understand nature and the world, like physics. So there are four or five disciplines that I would like to, to have a degree on, not for the sake of a degree, but because a degree implies knowledge, and therefore the knowledge, not for a degree. So yeah, I guess I would like to, to have that. Oh, that, that's really impressive for someone from our age to, to say so. Um, I see, uh, I, I am very contrasting with you. Um, I, I should say that in my perspective, um, I do think that is important in a context, in a social context to have degrees and so people can recognize us. Uh, but what I shall say that I contrast with you is that despite I also value uh, that to, to have uh, knowledge and degrees of, of college, I also identify and relate with um, with an Indian type of, of thinking. They are the so-called yogis, the ones that do yoga. I will tell it very superficially what it is because the way they, they think it is very interesting. Um, I, I used to, to see the Sadhguru. Uh, I used to see Sadhguru and he is uh, he's a yogi. And so he says something that I relate, which is uh, that people. Uh, People sh should live their lives with their bodies and not with their minds. Because, but, but it is a fact, it is a fact, because uh, despite here in, in our European, European point of view, uh, we tend to be more critics and uh, yeah, we tend to be very criticism and have uh, a lot of tools to, to work with, uh, but in contrast, uh, people have very much education, but although less experience in the working field. That's why uh, the yogis say that people should live with their bodies and less with their minds, because to live only with our minds 
tends to be very exhausting as well. I don't know. Like, INTP learn like generally um, stereotype does like floating heads. People not pretty much live with their heads and not with their bodies. So it would be asking me to be and not true in my way of thinking. And that's why I don't think I would do that because I first I don't like I don't mind studying topics that I like. Second it's something that I would really like to do. And third, I guess it's depending on the person. I mean, if you wish to live your life more with your body, that's fine, that's up to you. Um, I don't think it's a general thing that should be accepted as fun like for everyone. Everyone has their different personality, their opinions and stuff. But um, maybe I think you're being a little fundamentalist. And to be very strict with yourself, despite you have very a very strong uh, criticism point of view, and and besides to be constructive, um, I I think what people mean with to live more and more with our bodies, they I think what they mean is is that people should be more. Um, I mean, to be on the working field more and to raise more no, more will, their experiences. I will. By, I will. By I will just not only be I will be teaching, giving lectures in psychology, of course. I will find uh, a place where I can see people or study someone's work. And at the same time, I would like to study history too. So I will. Is it? That, that's absolutely it. Um, because uh, I, I don't think you're able to teach something you have not testimony yet. That's my. That, that's my. Um, Then I will go into the area that I want to, that I have to decide on. I don't know if it's history, it's theology, it's philosophy, it's physics. I have to. I like to study stuff that I like. And at the same time, I'm aware that I need money. So I will have, I guess, the best of both worlds. Having experience, and at the same time, studying something. I see, I see. Uh, but, but, but for instance, you, you cannot uh, teach somebody how the brain works if you have, if you have not uh, be there to, to see how it works at the moment. At the moment, then you cannot just uh, tell in a formal way that it works like that uh, if you have not do an experimental thing. Yeah, that, that, that is what makes the all difference because there are people that I can't, have. I can teach about the brain if I have, if I don't have the degree or something. But it is not only the, the degree that matters. If you have education but have no experience, then tell me about it. If you have no experience, yeah, you're a sort of education. For example, for theoretical fields, is theory, but not practice. Like, dedication in history, you can't go in a time machine and watch, you know, history happen for the It's theoretical, so if you want to know history, it's basically just theoretical. You can't replicate the things in your life. Uh, for philosophers, it's the same thing. You can't replicate, you can't make actual, like, synergies in your project. Basically, just theory. Yeah, of course you can't. Uh, maybe if we could imagine if we were two women, 
now uh, maybe if it could be uh, 100 year, years ago here in Portugal maybe we could not uh, because we we were uh, away we were apart from society and it, that it is possible to see nowadays I think it, it is possible to to, to see as history in real time we can compare ah. we can see if you want to see countries on which that still happens you can study that but you can see in Portugal like it was 100 years ago you can only compare what it was now why it was at now the laws that were applied back then and compare with the laws in Washington you can't really experience it if you experience the present and the of the past. Yeah, in my, yeah, me, yes, maybe you're right. But so to, to sum up, uh, w w what, what is your point of view that you would like to do maybe in 10 or 20 years from now on? What do you think? Yeah. How to take a PhD in psychology and to be either teaching psychology or to have my own office where I can study people or to be studying crime depending on where my PhD will lead because I'm still not really sure about it. So I would really like to have a PhD and I would really like to be working in crimes because then you just got a time and I will have a certain life I need to work. For a preference sooner than that. But yeah, and then as I am working, as I am see people get more and more information and more and more problems. I would also like to be in university studying history or other other disciplines in which I would for example be applying for history and only go there to complete subs because I wouldn't have to But uh, I, I, ca I cannot understand how how does psychology and history relate together. You can study, for example, people who fought in the past. There is a very nice book about this. Yeah, it's called Psychology and Ancient Warfare. It's a very nice book. 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 It's
that you have five or six areas that you really like to study. But you also know that your time on Earth is finite and you will not be here for the next 70 years, I guess. If I am, it's very unlikely that I will even be capable enough to learn anything. So, I guess it's difficult for us because we know that the time that we have on Earth is very limited. And in a way, we'll, we will die without knowing everything, which is something that is, I think, kind of painful. Us because we kind of are knowledge seeking personality, a personality that, that seeks knowledge, and we know that people buy without knowing most of things, and that's why we have a lot of interests, because why we have life for so much. Um, I completely understand. Um, of course, maybe, uh, m maybe we you think that way because uh, we were born in Portugal. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, maybe because we were born in Portugal, because uh, otherwise we would be born on sure. Mongolia or so. Yeah, it's obviously culture. Um, yeah, it's culture. And your parents, if you could be born in Portugal, but your parents really not have the money to put you in university, for example. So it really depends. It's a matter of luck, actually. It's not only the country, it has to be also the family, the politics that uh, governs the country. Even the climate has something to do with it. In more uh, recent now time, the statistics are actually clear. In Norway is a very happy country. But, for example, um, there is a time of year where it's a lot of heat and a lot. Yeah, so there are countries, and I think it's Norway and Finland and some others in Russia, on which um, the times of the year, for example, in the, um, there's either a lot of sun or a lot of darkness for long periods of time. And people, for example, people get depressed in the darkness time because they don't really see the sun for like three or four months. And it really sucks. And so, as you see, it's not only just the family. There are a lot of variables, a lot of factors, but of course, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Well, um, well, but that is it. I definitely ha a contrast with you because. Um, Which I would about you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. I do really contrast. Uh, in first place, uh, I'd like to to reinforce the first sentence I said before, was that um, I don't know what I will be capable to do in, in a ten, ten years' time, uh, because uh, everything is changing overnight. Uh, although there is something I, I am certain that I want to do in my life. Is that I can change? I can, I can, and I am able to change myself. Um, so uh, I want to be a person that can adapt into the the life I am exposed. Adapt and overcome. Yes, I want to overcome myself. That's really cool. Um, you are a very spiritual person, aren't you? Uh, I mean, I do not uh, believe in um, in spiritual and spirit. Yeah, but spiritual, like the Buddhists are, for example. Ah, the very I see. Ah, yeah. Um, yes, in fact, I used to see stories of, of Buddha because of the teachings of happiness and how to overcome ourselves. Uh, it's a fact, I am into it yeah. and I want to take these principles with me despite I do not uh, trust there is a a, a god or so. yeah, I don't, I, despite I do not trust it um, there is something I want to, to be is that I want to be happy and I am committed to do such, such. that's my first point be committed to be happy and to seek my my own purpose. Uh, the second thing 
that I'd like to do in my life, despite it is not certain, is that. Uh, so I'd like to to be someone that uh, can influence people and be influenced by others. In the other hand, I'd also like to be somebody that. Uh, people can rely on to satisfy their needs. Uh, in third place, uh, I'd like also to make people to feel they relate themselves to me and that me to others. Maybe th these are my three principles. Uh, because and even if, if I accomplish I can go on with life. Despite I am a musician and my main goal in life is to study whether it is historical music or performance or teaching music theory, uh, I want these three principles to be committed, to be happy. Uh, I want these to come through all my life. Um, and maybe, yeah, I, I am committed to, to, to live the life I, I have because I, I think probably some people might not uh, have some commitments in life, in life because probably they, they uh, do not commit the, to each other. Uh, that's why uh, I asked you before when, about the PhD, if you are willing, and because it takes a lot of energy, as you know. Yeah, yeah. It's also very important at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. If I could get the PhD, like, I wish I could spend life without having to work. Like everyone says, when they have like, like, some of the work that they have, but they're part of this in the world. I would like to have, like, to be rich enough to only have, use that money, for example, for food. That is, in the rest of the time, I would be like. skills into practice uh, it's kind of more I'm more into what the, I'm more about the knowledge than the skills in practice I guess. Yeah, but do, but I, I sorry I'm sorry but I have to disagree I, I think both things complement each other they do they, do. they complement each other people shall not go uh, to, to work with no education and people yeah. with only experience in work, uh, they they will do bad if uh, they have no education. And uh, sure. both things complement each other. Yeah, 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 sure. And there are areas on which you can't have one without the other, like physics or mathematics. It's not only just theory; you need to um, practice it. And if you want to be good at it, uh, yeah. I, I wish I could like just. Study whatever I want without having to deal with other people, without having to, uh, have, to have my skills put into the test. I don't know, man. I like, I like more the knowledge part than the physical part. I go ahead. Until, until here, I think we are in, a, in an agreement, but by the yeah. time. Yeah, but by the time uh, you say that, uh, uh, it, 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 it's not, not like this. Uh, I know it is about our tastes, but by the time you, you say that the, to put it to practice, maybe it is not that important. Um, I, I know, I know, it is not what you said. It depends on the discipline. Yeah, yes, it, it, it yeah. depends. But uh, it, it, 
that thing to put things into practice it, it in a certain part it is going to determine if we mastered it or not yeah like i said depends um, if you want to show someone you want to the way you put into practice is just explaining things that you know you can do you have to write and you can do you can if you want to but the way you you put into practice is just to words if you want to you can show uh, that you can just by your words in physics for example if you know a lot about physics you can also talk to people and explain them in the end of the day you will need to make the calculations. You will need to show them physically that this is why it works. And I think that's really cool. That's one of the things I like about physics, that you can show that it works in the mathematics. I don't know. I like the the idea of knowledge and the idea of getting things out of nature into here then here to there. Like I I would like to like <laughs> absorb the things that from the inside here, then to then use them to physically show my skills. So, I guess it's, I've learned other entities so that they like to do this sort of thing. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I comprehend, I comprehend. I comprehend. So, I see uh, so our goals in life and perspectives for the future. Uh, contrast and very yeah. into proper fun yeah, it would be I guess obvious we are two different personalities um, have you uh, at the end of your right to see what is like the end of the to achieve your career is it to be a master of orchestra in order to make compositions so, or um, honest, honestly, um, uh, I can I I cannot tell you exactly what. Uh, although uh, I think a characteristic it is very important for me to develop uh, in music in ge in general, it is a multiplicity of. Is to raise a multiplicity of of skills because to be self-sufficient, to be uh, yeah, to, to master uh, a a bunch of of skills is very important for a person on, on art. And the reason why is that uh, despite uh, I enjoy very much the performance part and the and to know music theory about notes and scales um, it is very fulfilling uh, feeling and, uh, and to, to also have the opportunity to, to learn a very big bunch of, of, of knowledge and capacities because because it complements my my capacity. Yeah, sure. I guess it's the same knowledge for myself. My, the key word here is 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 to be able to do uh, to be able to do multiple things. Yes. Uh, I guess it's the same but instead of doing is knowing. Instead of me having to do I think both. I think uh, to do and to know. Um, you need to know to do something or something. Else, but um, I don't know. Like I said, I would like to know without having to put in the work of showing why I know and how I know. Unless it's something that I really like. Yes, um, I, I think both a kind of uh, say into each other. They are kind of related. Yeah. It, it, this is it. I, I think I've told everything I I would like to say. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah.
Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, play Let's play have some fun now. Yeah, play for the community. Sure.